Hey guys, it's me, it's me, the Nintendo Sony Man here, welcome you back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald in the last episode. Episode, well, we made it to Devon Corporation after we saved Devon Corporation's employee again from Team Aqua. So, yeah, we got a new item, the Pokenab, which is this version's phone. And, well, it will be a phone, very shortly actually, I kind of spoiled that. But it shows the map of Hoenn, as you'll see here. So we can see all of Hoenn, and if you press A, you can zoom in more and see, like, more specific parts of the city. So that's pretty cool. And condi well, condition we'll get into another time. <clears throat> so, yeah. Let's see. We're doing pretty good. So let's go. So we've got a couple errands to do. we got some items. Actually, I'll show you now. Um... We got the, got the Devon goods, and we have a letter. So we have to deliver the letter to a guy named Steven in Dufer Town, and then we have to deliver some goods to someone in Slateport Town. So yeah, but now we can actually explore a little bit more of this place. This is like a de like a development area. We got a lot of scientists here. Oh wow, that's a Pokémon app. It came about as a result as a result of our present desire to learn about the feelings of Pokémon. Would you like to describe its features in detail? No, no, I think you'll find out just by trying the Pokenab app. Nice. I'm developing new kinds of Pokeballs, but I haven't made much headway. Oh, but you will, sir. You definitely will. We're developing a device for talking with Pokemon, but we haven't had much success. Uh, I'm sorry. That would be cool if you could make a device to talk to Pokemon. <clears throat> Maybe you get your Meowth to help you out with that. I'm trying to develop a device that visually reproduces the dreams of Pokémon. But it's not going well. Don't worry, man. Though it's you'll get some. You'll, you'll be surprised how well it goes in the next uh, next few generations. Hint, hint, Mushnara. Well, now, what should I, should I work on next? Our company allows us to make our inspirations into reality. One couldn't ask for a better in environment as an engineer. That's nice. But this guy's the real important one. <clears throat> I've been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils, and it's working! That's nice! Congratulations! Yeah, so we may want to look into that guy if we find any... any fossils around. Hi there, you're always welcome here. Well, thank you. And yep. S same... I... Okay, good. Alright, let's leave. <clears throat> Hello. I've been developing an added feature for the Pokémon app, and it turned out great. Wow, these guys work fast. Emerald, may I see that Pokémon app, the one our president gave you? Sure. <clears throat> there you go, Emerald. Added a new feature named Match Call on your Pokémon app. Yes! Using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered in your Pokémon app. Emerald, our president's stone should be registered in your Pokémon app. Test it out. Please give our president a call. So we get the phone back in the Pokenav. So this returns from Gen 2, which I like. So you go to Match Call, <clears throat> and you'll have a lot of people. You have a limited space of numbers you can get, but we have the Devon president, Mr. Stone, here. You can call him. Oh, Emerald! Since you called me, the Pokenav must be working properly. Other people will be registered, so try calling them up too. Good, good. You seem to be quite happy. Hmm? How could I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from my office window. <laughs> see you again. Oh, that's funny. As you see there, it also shows the amount of battles you've had too, so it's pretty nice. Okay, I better get back to work. Please take care, Arnold. Yeah, you too. <clears throat> um, oh. Oh. There's, there's a reason I'm, I'm saying that. I think I remembered we have something coming up shortly. I think I'll be fine, though. Alright, so let's head on down to, um... Back to around Pelper Woods. But before we get there, we may have a bit of a surprise for us. Oh, look, it's May! What's she doing here? Hello. Oh, hi, Emerald. What's up, May? How you doing? Got a match call feature put on your Pokémon app? Yep. 
Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime. Okay. <clears throat> Registered May. Alright, so we got May on the Pokin Ave. Oh, by the way, I passed by Mr. Briny in Pebbleburg Woods. Really? I guess he's on his way home to see if he's doing his pockets by the sea. How's your Pokedex coming along, Emerald? Mine's looking pretty decent. So, how about a little battle? Sure. I... I kind of forgot about this one. You just became a trainer, Emerald. I'm not going to lose. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll see about that. <clears throat> we'll see about that, May. Alright, so our second rival battle against May. She's got two Pokémon. I've got three. Oh, she has a Lotad! Lotad! <clears throat> oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. We've got Shippo here. Yeah, we need a level of Shippo, so let's go for Headbutt. Great, powerful Headbutt there. Okay, I see how it is. Oh, oh, I really see how it is. Okay, that's how you're going to play it. Alright, play that game. <clears throat> 205 experience, nice. Oh, she so has a she still has a Torchic. Um, that'll be fine. <clears throat> so she has a low tide and a Torchic. All right. Um, let's go. Let's see what a headbutt does. I'm faster, of course I am. Oh, oh, ship with the flinch. Can we end Torchic? Not quite. Goes for the Ember. Pretty powerful. I think she's gonna heal up. I am... I'm gonna go for a Tail Whip. Oh, she didn't heal. Uh-oh. I thought she'd heal. No, Shippo! No! I'm sorry, Shippo. I thought she'd heal because, you know, she's a smart trainer and everything. And I don't have revives. No, no! Avenger Fallen Comrade Kagome. Oh, focus energy. A little too late for that. Done. <clears throat> that's for that's for Shippo. Yay! Yikes! You're better than I expected. Hey, yeah, you haven't evolved your first Pokemon yet. Well, I already have. Oh, by the way, Mr. Briny, who I just passed, Emerald, you just moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Briny was once a revered seafarer. Oh, really? You know, when I when I first heard that, the, my, the first thought I came, that came to my mind for that, if any of you have ever uh, read the story, The Old Man in the Sea, for some reason I just think of that when I heard that line about Mr. Briny. So, yeah. Pretty cool. So, hmm, a revered seafarer. Maybe he can help us get to the next town. <clears throat> I mean, he does have a dock of his own, so... How about we go check that out? I think that's a great idea. Um... Do... Hang on a second. Let me talk to you for one moment. Oh, okay. I thought you'd give me something else. Alright. Um... Do... Oh, we can get this item now? I let's see what it is, Shippo. X accuracy. Awesome. I don't like X items, even though I know how useful it can be. And now, since we got the Pokemon app, um, we can get uh, numbers of certain trainers. So we can rematch them. I'm going to get this guy. He gives me a lot of money. <laughs> and then I'll just get you. <laughs> Yay. Alright then. Um... I think you'll give me another berry. No, you. Oh, you see, other person that gives me another berry. At least it should work. All right. Not one of you gives me like a berry every day or something. Sure. Yes, I know about berries. Do you give me one? No, okay. I thought you gave me one. I'm sorry. I apologize. Alright, so let's go. Let's not waste any more time. Um... Not sure. There's an item back here. 
I think I, I think it's pretty important for me to get it right now. I don't. I think it's the miracle seed. I, I know. I, I'm pretty sure it's a hold item. We'll find out. <clears throat> but yeah, we got cut, so we can go through here. Oh hi. Oh neat. That's the badge from Rustboro Gym. You must be a trainer. You should try using this item. Yes, I was right. The miracle seed. That would be very helpful for a certain grass Pokemon I've got. Why did I do that? Yes, Inuyasha. Perfect. I needed that. Is that it? Oh, there's an item up there. Let's get that. But let's put on a repel first. Because I don't want to keep running to bug Pokemon. And this used the King Drock too. I don't know how, but okay. Ooh, great ball. Wow, there's a lot of great balls around here. Alright, so that should be it. For oh, is there a hidden there's another item there. Ooh, a tiny mushroom. Nice. I think you can sell that or trade it for something. And an X attack. Okay. I think we got all the items here in Pedalburg Woods. Nope, we don't. Potion. <laughs> So many hidden items. Yeah, those weird blocks, you should check those. Hey. Yeah, he tells them about those hidden items. Alright, and then here we have an alternate route, alternate exit. Wow, the Pokeballs. What are you dropping your Pokeballs for, guys? You need them. Okay, yeah. Alright, so let's go talk to Mr. Prime. No, actually not yet. <laughs> I have a reason. There's another person I get a phone number for. You. Lady Cindy. Okay, now let's talk to Mr. Brian. As he's running around with Pico. Hello. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Hmm? You're an emerald. You saved my darling Pico. We owe you we owe so much to you. What's that? You want to sail with me? Hmm. You have a letter bound for Dewford and a package for Slateport, then. Quite the busy life you must lead. Yeah, I know, I'm like 10 years old. I'm a delivery boy for Devon. Can you believe that? It's crazy. <laughs> but certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all. Really? That's nice. You've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Dewford. Alright, I am ready. Dewford it is, then. Anchors away, Pico. We're setting sail, my darling. Alright, so we go into his boat, and he will take us to Dufer Town. Yay! Yeah, there are trainers there. Once we get surfed, we can battle them. Wait, what? What's this? Oh, it's Dad! Oh, Emerald? Where are you right now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I'm on the sea! I just heard from Devon's Mr. Stone about your Pokenab. So I decided to give you a call. It sounds like you're doing fine. So that's fine with me. You take care now. And then with that, we have Dad Norman. Dad Norman, nice. Alright, I think we're almost there. Route 106, and yes. When we turn this corner, we will make it to Dufer Town. Yay! Ahoy, we've hit land in Dufer. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to... Who was it now? Oh, Stephen! Well, eventually. But this is due for a town, an island off the sea. It has really nice calming music and everything. Who are you? This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? I guess so, yeah. I hear you. I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. You'll get the old rod, yeah! So we can go fishing for... stuff. And as an added bonus, I'll even throw in a little fishing advice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back on the rod. Yeah, in this game, you actually have to do something with the rod. Um, when you go fish, if you get a bite, you have to press A at a certain time instead of just letting it go automatically. So, a little different here. Do for a town? A tiny island in the blue sea. So, I have enough time. We'll do some exploration of do for a town. Dufort is a tiny island community. 
If someone gets if something gets trendy here, everyone picks up on it right away. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I like what's hip, happening, and trendy. I'm always checking checking it out. Listen, have you heard about this new much event? What? Much of what? That's right, of course you know. I mean, sheesh, much event. It's the hottest thing in cool. Wherever you're from, much event is the biggest thing happening, right? Not really. Well, you can change the sayings here. This is kind of a little fun thing you can do. And <laughs> I'll say yes, yeah. Yeah, absolutely right. Much event is the definition of in right now. Yeah, sure it is. Oh, yeah, it's weird. Okay, then. What else do we got here? Let's check out the inhabitants. There's a lot to be said for living on a small island like this in harmony with Pokemon and the family. That's nice. I left the major port of Slateport City when I married my husband here. Life goes by slowly on this little island, but being surrounded by the beautiful sea, that's happiness too. Oh, that's nice. And they got like a zigzagoon over there. It's pretty nice. Alright, I think there's an item. No, there's no item there. No, it's just Route 107. Um, what else we got here? Hello, good sir. Oh, I already talked to you. What, why? <laughs> I just remembered that, of course. Actually, let's go in here. This is the Dufer Hall. Hmm. Okay. Exchange of information. It's in Vogue, much event. Oh, yeah, these guys just talk about, like, much event stuff. They got much event items, everything. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Nothing really important there, though. Um. Anything else? Well, this is the gym here. Duford po Town Pokemon Gym Leader Brawly. A big wave in fighting. Now, don't let that um, deceive you, saying he's a big wave in fighting. Contrary to what you may think, he does not actually use the water type. No. Due to his name, Brawly, like brawling, he's a fighting type um, Pokemon Gym Leader. And with my team right now, yeah, we're not really equipped to go up against him yet. Keyword yet. But, um, I'm gonna, just gonna end off the episode here because in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, uh, we're gonna go to a, another location near here. Now that we have the Pokenav, I think I should be able to show you on the Hoenn map. Um... Not really, but, um, yeah, as you can see there, um, you have the Pokemon Gym, Pokemon Center, but there is also a cave, um, around here, I don't want to battle you guys yet, right there, we're going to be going in there next, so, yeah, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, we'll go into the, I believe it's called Granite Cave, to get our new Pokemon and complete a certain request. If you like this part, please press that like button down below, comment, let me know what you think about, um, hey, have you, you guys, have you guys ever lived on an island before, or ever visited an island before, maybe on a vacation or something? I mean, I, I did visit, um, Jamaica when I was a kid, so that was pretty fun, so, have you guys ever visited an island? It'd be nice to know what your thoughts are, so yeah, don't forget to comment and subscribe. It's been me, the Nintendo Sony Man, signing off, and I'll see you guys in Granite Cave. See you later.